Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I'm here to do the money and luck forecast for the cancer for April 2016. Um, I want you guys to go and subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel. Um, this is going to be a general money reading. Um, so I definitely uh, would suggest you go and subscribe to that channel because that's what um, all of the, the money and luck and a bunch of other stuff uh, types of readings are going to go on that channel. Um, also, if you were looking to get a reading this weekend, my website was down and I wasn't aware. It is back up. So definitely make sure that if you want a reading that you can, um, you are now able to go purchase one. So I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle. Um, for the cancer for the month of April 2016 and this is a five card spread and again this may or may not resonate with all of you I got cards dropping out so um, let me cleanse my cards real quick I'm just going to cleanse I'm going to smudge my cards real quick guys because I haven't done it in a couple of days going to cleanse all of the energies from any previous readings okay all right so um, we're going to be looking at the cancer we're going to be looking at your current financial situation cancer um, we're also going to be looking at um, will money be coming into your life very soon so this is this is within the next one to two weeks um, what money opportunities do you need to consider more closely? Um, and who or what project will bring in more money? And also card number five is a final outcome. cut and lay your cards out cancer okay wonderful so cancer your first card is the three of wands so um, this is really interesting I've been getting these so I get the sense that a lot of you cancers um, you know, you are definitely collaborating some new ideas. Um, you're definitely working on projects. You're definitely hard at work is what I'm seeing with this card. Um, but, um, you're giving a lot of time to something. Now, some of you right now, currently, you're just having doubts and this is normal. You know, you're searching for a solution to some kind of problem that you're having right now, Cancer. Um, and this is the month of, for the month of April. Now, Cancer, here's what I want to tell you. Um, all of your surrounding cards are wonderful. And um, so with the Three of Wands, um, let's look at this. Not just the pagan uh, meaning, but for the current meaning for the Three of Wands, it just really shows... Um, this wonderful energy okay this is about creativity and achievement and fresh starts and long-term success so um, this is the perfect card um, <clears throat> for this time of the year especially with the uh, spring equinox because right now um, a lot of people are sort of laying down seeds it's springtime you know this is when people are getting ready they're uh, planting seeds to see what they're going to get you know and just making sure that you uh, put your all into it you know you want um, to to reap what you sow which is basically get your harvest so this is about putting energy into something and waiting for the payoff so you're definitely wait, working hard I can see that for some of you cancers um, you definitely do work a lot on your computers okay um, some sort of uh, maybe some of you who have just started some sort of internet business or maybe you're um, That's what you do. Some of you um, have um, 
you know, jobs. I can see some of you working switchboard. Um, you know, or just recently getting a job or just recently starting a job or getting comfortable in your job. Now, card number two is really interesting, Cancer. Um, will money be coming into the Quirant's life very soon? And you got the five of wands. Now, this is really interesting because this card um, is normally a bad card. This card normally shows conflict, so cancer. Um, there is this negative energy working against you big time. Um, and, and I'm not surprised because people always like to pick on us little cancers. Um, so the five of wands is showing up to tell you, um, yes. Will money be coming into your life very soon? Yes, but stop wasting your energy on this negativity. Now, this is about the law of attraction and manifestation. What you got to realize is that when you waste your time on a certain energy, okay? So the five of wands is not coming up to say no, but this is about energies that are wasted okay now usually the five of wands can indicate your inability to concentrate because of this but it also means um it it also means i'm sorry give me one second guys because um, I want to give you the exact definition of the five of wands. Um, this is about conflict, some sort of disagreement, some sort of strife um, that's going on. And so it doesn't suggest you losing. It suggests competition. The five of wands is all about competition. If you look at the background, um, it's quite obvious what's going on. The five of wands points to a romantic competition. Um, as you can see, there's a man and there's a woman. The man is moving her away from these people. You can see four women in the background. And they're all holding a wand. You can't even really see the wands, though. Yeah, they're all holding a wand and they're just wasting their energy. And you know that this is a waste of energy, so you're walking away. Um, that's what this card means. This means that you're facing competition, but it means that you, the battles you have faced, I'm sorry, um, have, has, led to, has led you to boldness of character. So as you can see, um, the woman is sort of, Shaking them off with her hand, with her right hand. So not only, not only is she overcoming this conflict and this competition um, because she is the one walking away with, you know, someone. These women are all gathered up together, um, but she's also harnessing their negativity. And then using it for good, you know, for something good. She's taking it and turning it into something positive. Um, you can see she's wearing white. She's on the left. And she's got her right hand up. This is your receiving hand. Okay? So she's receiving these energies from these staffs and these wands that these women are directing. Okay? Um, but she is also using that energy to hold on to this person and he's neutralizing the energy so they're both working together to overcome the obstacle which is why you see the yin and the yang the colors you can see there everybody's wearing a different color the person in green this is envy this is rage you know there's a lot of different messages in this uh, card okay um, you can also see a path 
behind them. This is sort of where they're headed. And you're not really sure where you're headed in this um, drawing, but it's that way for a reason because it's letting you know to stop wasting your energy. And if you do get negative energy from the competition, use it and, and turn it into positive. Okay, so that's a really um, deep card. Um, I don't doubt that you will overcome this obstacle because of your next card. I'm sorry, guys. Give me a second. I'm getting kind of sleepy, too, guys, so I might have to finish these readings tomorrow morning. But I think I'm going to get them all up because I'm going to make these quick because I'm going to kind of burn through these last three or I'm going to try to at least uh, one more thing about the five of wands um, again any tarot card reader knows that this points to romantic rivals so I get the feeling that you're dealing with some wasted energy from some people that are angry at you about your um, significant other so this is the case this will probably be the case for some of you um, and what this means is that you just need to believe in yourself more than ever now. And you need to hold your head up high and have faith that you will end up in the place that is right for you. So this is about manifestation also, okay? And the law of attraction. Um, card number three um, is going to point to um, money opportunities the querent may wish to consider more closely. And you got the novice of wands. So I get the sense that some of you um, are taking on some sort of spiritual leader. Maybe some of you. Some of you um, might be practicing some sort of faith-based thing. Maybe you might be going into be becoming a yoga instructor. Maybe a life coach. Maybe a drug, and, drug or alcohol counselor. Maybe you're going to be um, doing some sort of um, I see whatever it is that you're going to take it to another level. So the this card showing up is telling you that you know you are on the correct path and that you have definitely made some um, some 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 significant positive changes and you're showing some really positive growth as far as with understanding the law of attraction understanding that what you put out comes back so the novice is energies directed towards overcoming obstacles so you are learning how not to allow people to tear you down and you're inspiring others so i get the sense that a lot of you cancers are going to be inspiring some people you're going to be going into um, some sort of a spirituality based career um I mean, it could be anything. You could be working at a funeral home. You could be, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities with as far as, you know, you doing good and using that good energy towards manifesting what you want. Also, which will help you overcome your obstacles with these romantic rivals. Um, card number four is who or what projects will bring in more money. So there's that black and white again. Cancer. You see that? Same couple as in the five of wands. So whoever this romantic rival of yours is, the positive energies between the two of you is what's going to help you overcome this. Um, it's a reason why one is wearing white and one is wearing black. Um, the man is the yin or the yang. It's the yin and the yang. 
and then also it's about you know um, absorption and um, absorption and purification um, the four of wands points to some sort of celebration or event So some of you cancers again um you know this is this it points to the spiritual based practice again um in fact you know there's a woman in the back you can see her there's a third person and she's sort of overseeing this event so she's more like the wedding planner so I get the sense that some of you cancers <clears throat> are going to go into wedding planning, but some of you might go into some sort of spiritual based practice to where you're helping couples. Um, you, I mean, the energies in the four of wands is so beautiful. Um, you know, in the traditional tarot, um, the energies of the four of wands is about some sort of wedding celebration. Um, some sort of partnership. This is about um, completion and harmonies. And I'm sorry, harmony and new beginnings. And it's also about security. Um, some of you cancers are probably going to be um, going into real estate. Okay, just because the four of wands represents an altar, which is um, some sort of um, entrance into some sort of home or um, foundation so this is a really strong foundation so I think that the foundation is the man and the woman the connection um, you guys are able as long as you stick together because these these the five of the five of wands is all about conflict created in a relationship caused by other people this is a card of good endings um, but just looking at this card um, some of you might go into acupuncture massage therapy something that helps people on a spiritual level You might end up becoming some, you know, maybe a marriage counselor. Um, I consider myself to be a marriage counselor um, because I've counseled couples. So, um, you know, it makes a lot of sense because cancers really enjoy helping people. Um, not to mention the four of wands when, when you're talking about financial success. Um, the four of wands uh, means that your finances are in good shape and they are get, they are about to get a whole lot better. This is a card of very good luck. This is pure luck. Okay. But also it's going to be the result of hard work and concentrating your energy. Okay. Um, there it again, we go back to you will reap what you sow. Um, as long as you have faith in yourself and keep trying, you will reap positive benefits and positive rewards. Okay. Um, it's not pointing to something like pure luck, like a lottery win, but these are more so blessings, okay? Um, in particular, this is a commitment, which is going to make those blessings a lot stronger. And your last card for your um, final outcome for the month of April, this is a beautiful card. This is a seven of swords. And um, in the Pagan Tarot, again, um, this is about, um, as you can see, <clears throat> the building in the back um, is burning. Um, as you can see, a lot of negative spirits has overcome this place or this village. You know, you can see the house. And then there's the seven swords right there. Um, but you can see that this young woman is safe. 
okay um not to mention if something were to pop off she's got seven swords there to defend her <laughs> so she has all the protection that she needs um the seven of swords oh this is really about your perception and how smart you are how well you are um in sensing or in perceiving things okay now also the seven is a lucky number so this is a good luck number for you cancer so lots of money coming um as long as you can overcome these people um accepting the unexpected and positively welcoming even that which comes from those around us so again alchemy cancer knowing how to use that energy okay the woman in this photo is using her right hand to receive the energy and the left hand to you to, to put to, to put it into that's why he's wearing black because we're going to take this energy, we're going to neutralize it, and we're going to turn it into something positive. So this Seven of Swords is a really, really deep card. Okay? Being able to roll with the punches, Cancer. Being, being resilient. It's really hard for some cancers. We are very strong. We have a tough exterior, but we are still very sensitive. Now, the Seven of Swords shows that there's someone in your life behaving with less than ethical intentions. It sometimes also means um, that it's a possibility that some of you cancers are getting involved in something that you need to walk away from. You don't belong in this situation. Okay, um, if you are involved, this is another competition card for the sword uh, suit. Um, you will want to keep a close eye on the situation, which means put all your swords in the basket. You might need them. Trust your instincts. Okay, this card is about instincts, it's about intellect, it's about quick thinking, being a quick thinker, not resisting the impulse to get involved with these people in this conflict. As far as finances, this is definitely not a time to spend too much. Make sure you are investing wisely. Okay, so just before you just start shopping and, you know, um, and, and don't take all money either. All money ain't good money. So if you get some money that you feel like it might be a little too good to be true or your spirits are telling you not to deal with it, then don't mess with it. Okay, money cannot buy your integrity. If you sacrifice your integrity for money, your self-esteem and your spirituality and your karma is going to suffer. Um, again, the number seven cancer, however. Okay, because something worth an endeavor that's worth going after is going to be hard. The more money you have, the more problems. <laughs> um, I just wanted to tell you about this, um, this number seven. Um, the angel number seven tells of a beneficial time with obstacles overcome and successes realized. Your angels are happy with your choices, okay? Um, so that's going to conclude your reading for this month. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Cancer. Um, again, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel. The link is in the video description box. And if you want a more personalized reading with um, more in-depth advice, um, the link is in the video description box to my website. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.